Two years ago, if you would have told me that I would own anything Festool, I would have told you, you're nuts. I am not paying a thousand plus dollars for a Domino. Five hundred dollars for a sander? Get out of here. Four hundred dollars for a dust extractor? I got a hundred and fifty dollar shop back right here. A track saw for seven hundred dollars? I'll just buy this one for hundred and fifty bucks. It does the same thing, right? What's going on guys? Today we're talking Festool. Some love it, some hate it. I just wanted to make a video about my experience with it. And I just want to start off by saying I have no affiliation with Festool at all. I've bought all these tools with my own money. I've never even been in contact with them, except for one time I had an issue with my sander. We'll get into that in a few. So back about a year, year and a half ago, back before I had no Festool tools, I was like many of you watching this video probably are. That stuff is way too expensive. There's no way it's worth that price. I'll just buy this cheaper brand and it does the same thing. Sound familiar? And then last summer I got an order to do a dining room tabletop and this specific client wanted breadboard ends done on it. Now before I was full time, I made a few things with breadboard ends, but I did them completely wrong. Uh, I never allowed for wood movement. But being that I started full-time a couple years back, I needed to do this right. So I started researching on ways to do breadboard ends and stumbled upon a few people using the Festool Domino to do it and it looked like it made easy work from it. So I said, you know what, I'm going to take the money I'm making from this tabletop and I had some money saved up and I'm going to buy the Domino. And that's where it all started. The Domino led to the sander, the sander led to the dust extractor, now the dust extractor has led to the track saw. So I had all these tools that basically did the same thing, they just weren't Festool. Outside of the Festool Domino, because there really isn't much of a replacement for that right now. And I owned all those tools for obviously a fraction of the cost. So why did I start replacing them with Festool? And I think the short answer is just the quality. And then the biggest, biggest thing is efficiency. Getting back to when I first bought the Domino, I just fell in love with it. Just the, the quality of it, everything was smooth on it. You know, the detents, the markings, everything was accurate. And I found that every time I had to use the Domino for a project, I actually like looked forward to doing it. Like it's, it was a joy just to grab the sustainer, get it out and use it. But there was one problem at the time, when I first got the Domino, I was using my portable Milwaukee shop vac to collect the dust from it. Because with a Domino, you gotta have efficient dust collection. And it worked, it was fine. Um, I had to take the hose and kind of cram it onto that Domino. You know, I'd be using it after a few mortises and it would fall off. And it just wasn't efficient. And then that shop vac would clog up after, you know, gluing up a tabletop and it wouldn't suck the dust out anymore. And in the meantime, I was just watching other YouTube videos about, you know, other people woodworking. And I just noticed when they had that Festool Domino and they were using it, they clicked the Domino on and automatically their little dust extractor would pop on. You wouldn't have to turn it on. It would just automatically turn on as you turn the Domino on. And I just thought, man, that would be awesome. That just looks so much more efficient. So I looked at my business as a whole and just said, what is one thing I just completely do not enjoy doing and related to that, how much time is it taking? What's taking the most time? And at that point, it was hands down sanding. Now I do have like a DeWalt sander that everyone starts out with and it works just fine. Uh, but I was using that same Milwaukee vacuum and it would just clog up. And then I also have a Bosch, I think it's like a GET6 or something and I have no complaints about that thing that thing is an absolute beast it's a tank of a sander uh, overall it does a great job the one problem I had with it is it's not a great finish sander it's just a it's like a powerhouse of a sander and every time I I do a lot of picture frames for my photography and stuff and when I had to flip that up on the end and hold that giant sander up and sand it it was just, it's way too big to do fine detail stuff. So I had to find a good finishing sander. And during this time, I had a backlog of work lined up. I never had a problem getting work, 
but the efficiency of getting my projects done in a timely manner, I needed to get better at. So I did some research and I pulled the trigger on the Festool Dust Extractor. It's just the cheapest one they offer. And I also got the ETS EC125, I think it is. And now I can honestly say sanding my projects is literally one of my favorite steps now. It went from being my least favorite to one of my favorites. And another huge plus is all the Festool cords that come with each of these tools, it's all the same thing. So I just leave one of them plugged right into my dust extractor at all times, and I've attached it to the dust extractor hose. So it's all right in one place. So all I have to do is say I'm done using my domino, and now it's time to sand the project. I have it all right there. I pull out that power cord, take out that dust extractor hose, plug it into the sander, and I'm ready to go. And you might be saying, yep, that's how they get you. Everything works in accordance, so if you gotta have this, you gotta have that. And I'm not gonna deny that. Yes, it is how they get you. But I don't see that as a bad thing. All of their tools just work in uniform together. It is a system. And when you have a system for your work, everything just flows much more efficient. Now, I'm not moving everything over to Festool. I don't have any of their cordless power tools. I'm a huge fan of Milwaukee, so I'm sticking with that. But anything that has a power cord and needs efficient dust collection, these have been just a fantastic addition to my work. And earlier when I said, I'll just buy this $150 track saw from WEN, and it does the same thing, right? Comparing these two tools just should never be done, but now that I'm already this deep into it, if I was forced to explain it, it's like a gas station slice of pizza compared to a slice of pizza right from Italy. No, that won't work. Because I've had pretty damn good gas station pizza and I've never had pizza from Italy. So it's like a car that's running smooth down the highway compared to another car that has two flat tires and then your other two tires are just like rumbling on rumble strips. That's, that's better. Now, I don't have too much experience in the customer service side of things for Festool because since I've owned these, I've really never had a problem yet. I did mention earlier that I had an issue with my sander that I reached out to customer service for. And what happened with that is actually shortly after I bought it, probably within a month, the sanding pad wore out and none of the sanding pads would stick to it. It would just fall off. So I actually got to the point where I started adhesiving them onto it and just got entirely sick of that, obviously. So I contacted customer service. I was pretty frustrated. I emailed them and was honest and told them I use the 3M extract sanding discs, which if you don't know is a mesh style sandpaper. They emailed back and said they strongly, strongly recommend using a protector pad when using mesh style sandpapers. So now I know that, and that's a huge tip. Any sander you use, if you're using those 3M extract discs, which I highly recommend them, they're fantastic, definitely buy like a $12 protector pad. It's so cheap, and it saves your whole pad. But getting back to the customer service, they did send me a brand new sanding pad. They did replace it, no questions asked. So that's the only experience with customer service I got, but from doing research from it, they are phenomenal. So in summing up, the best way I can put it is Festival tools are probably not for every woodworker. Although if you can pull it off and afford them, I definitely recommend them. The best way I can put it is I had friends growing up that were mechanics. They worked on cars and all that and they would go into this snap-on truck and just, I saw the prices of what they were buying, the tools they were buying, and I just, I couldn't even fathom that. I would say, dude, I'll just go to Sears and pick up this tool for literally a quarter of the price. Or Lowe's nowadays, because I don't think there's any Sears left, but anyway. And I just think until you use the high-end, top-quality tools in a business environment where you have to be efficient in order to stay alive and make money, you just don't understand it and you don't appreciate them until that happens. I never did until... I had my own business and now I'm full time doing this. Back when I was a hobby, I would have never even considered these. But now that I have to be 
extremely efficient. They have paid for themselves over and over again, and they will continue to pay for themselves. So I'd say if you're still a hobbyist, yes, it's probably a little overkill. Get the best tools you can and just see where it takes you. But if you really start, if you're a hobbyist and you really, really start making some good money and just look at it as I did. What is your least favorite thing to do in the shop? What takes the most time that you enjoy the complete least? And look at that. If it's sanding, consider upgrading your sander to the best of your ability that you can. Now, are there any complaints from me for a festival? I honestly can't really think of any. Obviously, my initial complaint would be the price. The price of them, I would say they're overpriced, but now looking back after purchasing them and using them, I don't think so, because if, if literally if any of these tools, let's say that sander got stolen or something, I would replace it in a heartbeat. If the domino is gone, I'd have to replace it in a heartbeat. I just, I wouldn't be able to go on without them and I would, I would pay that price again. So that's the best way I can put it. Take it all with a grain of salt, but if you have a chance to use them, it's, it's like night and day from some other tools. It really is. Anyway, that's just my experience. Let me know what you think. Do you have Festool? Do you not? Are you interested in maybe purchasing Festool? Maybe this video helped you out. I don't know. Anyway, catch you in the next video.